Hello and welcome back to our Business English Lesson Series. This is part 3, where we'll continue exploring common phrases and expressions that can help you communicate more effectively in a professional setting. In the previous lessons, we covered a wide range of phrases related to general workplace communication. If you missed it, don't worry, you can always go back and review it later. In this lesson, we'll build on that foundation and introduce some additional phrases and concepts that will be useful in different scenarios. As always, our goal is to help you feel more confident and prepared when using English in a business context. By the end of this lesson, you should have a better understanding of how to express yourself clearly and professionally in various situations. Before we start, I would like to remind you to check out our previous lessons in this series. You can find the links to these lessons in the description below. It's always helpful to review previous material to reinforce your learning and build upon your knowledge. So, be sure to check them out and stay on track with your progress. So, let's get started and take your business English skills to the next level. Paradigm Shift Paradigm Shift a significant change or shift in the underlying assumptions, beliefs, or values that shape a particular field or industry. Performance Evaluation Performance Evaluation The process of assessing an individual's or team's performance against established goals or criteria. Performance Metrics Performance Metrics Specific measures used to evaluate and track performance, often tied to key performance indicators, KPIs. Performance optimization. Performance optimization. The process of improving performance through optimization techniques, such as process improvement or technology upgrades. Please find attached. Please find attached. A phrase often used in emails to indicate that a file or document is attached to the email. Proactive approach. Proactive approach. A mindset or approach that emphasizes taking initiative and anticipating future needs or challenges. Problem-solving skills. Problem-solving skills. The ability to identify, analyze, and solve problems in a creative and effective manner. Process improvement. Process improvement. The process of identifying and implementing improvements to existing processes to increase efficiency and effectiveness. Product development. Product development. The process of creating new products or improving existing ones. Often involving research, design, and testing. Productivity enhancement. Productivity enhancement. The process of increasing productivity through strategies such as automation, process improvement, and employee training. Product market fit. Product market fit. The alignment between a product or service and the needs and preferences of a particular market or customer base. Quality assurance. Quality assurance. The process of ensuring that a product or service meets established quality standards through testing and inspection. Red tape. Red tape. Refers to excessive bureaucracy or rules that can slow down or hinder progress or decision making. Resource allocation. Resource allocation, the process of distributing resources, such as time, money, or personnel, among various projects or initiatives. Resume. Resume. A document outlining an individual's education, work experience, skills, and qualifications, often used in job applications. Return on equity. Ro. Return on equity. Ro. A financial metric that measures the return on investment for shareholders in a company. Return on investment. ROI. Return on investment. ROI. A financial metric that measures the return on investment for a particular project, initiative, or investment. Revenue growth. Revenue growth. The increase in revenue over a specific period of time often used as a key performance indicator, KPI. Revenue streams. Revenue streams, the sources of revenue for a business or organization, 
often including products, services, and other income sources. Risk management. Risk management. The process of identifying, assessing, and mitigating potential risks to a business or project. ROI analysis. ROI analysis. The process of analyzing the return on investment for a particular project or initiative, often using financial metrics such as ROI. ROI driven. ROI driven. A mindset or approach that emphasizes making decisions based on the potential return on investment. Sales enablement. Sales enablement. The process of equipping sales teams with the tools, training, and resources they need to be successful. Sales funnel. Sales funnel. The process that potential customers go through from initial awareness of a product or service to making a purchase. Sales pipeline. Sales pipeline. The collection of potential sales or customers that a sales team is actively pursuing. Scalable solutions. Scalable solutions. Solutions that can be easily scaled up or down to meet changing needs or demands, often used in technology or software development. Service delivery. Service delivery. The provision of a service to customers, which can include factors such as quality, speed, and responsiveness to customer needs. Set deadlines. Meet deadlines. Set deadlines. Meet deadlines. The establishment of a timeline for completing tasks or projects, and the ability to successfully complete those tasks or projects within the given time frame. Sign off on something. Sign off on something. The approval or endorsement of a decision or action by a person in authority. Social media marketing. Social media marketing. The use of social media platforms to promote a company's products or services. Staff shakeup. Staff shakeup. A significant change in the composition or structure of a company's workforce. Stakeholder engagement. Stakeholder engagement. The process of involving individuals or groups who have a vested interest in a company's activities or outcomes, such as customers, investors, or employees, in decision-making or other relevant processes. Start from scratch. Start from scratch. To begin a project or process without any pre-existing resources or assets. Stay on budget. Go over budget. To manage expenses within the allocated budget for a project or process, or to exceed that budget. Strategic objectives. Strategic objectives. The long-term goals that a company establishes to guide its actions and decision-making. Strategic partnerships. Strategic partnerships. Collaborations with other companies or organizations that are aligned with a company's strategic goals. Strategic planning. Strategic planning. Strategic planning. The process of defining a company's overall direction, setting long-term goals, and developing a plan to achieve those goals. Strategic thinking. The ability to approach problems or decisions with a long-term, big-picture perspective. Streamline. Streamline. To simplify or optimize a process, system, or organization in order to reduce waste, increase efficiency, and improve overall performance. Supply chain management. Supply chain management. The management of the flow of goods and services from the procurement of raw materials to the delivery of finished products to customers. Supply chain optimization. Supply chain optimization. The process of maximizing efficiency and minimizing costs within a company's supply chain. Synergy. Synergy. The cooperative interaction of two or more elements, resulting in a combined effect that is greater than the sum of their individual effects. But don't stop here. In part 4, we'll be diving deeper into more advanced topics and scenarios, so you can continue to improve your business English skills and gain the confidence you need to communicate effectively in the workplace. Stay tuned for part 4, where we'll be covering furthermore common phrases and expressions used in various business situations. Remember, 
Practice is key to mastering any language skill. Make an effort to use these phrases and strategies in your everyday communication and you will soon see improvement. So, if you're ready to take your business English to the next level, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. We look forward to seeing you in our next lesson. Thanks for choosing Business English Scribe.